in this video, we are going to talk about what a logarithm is, what it means. What this is on this first example, we have log base 5 of 125. So what you are trying to find is the power that 5 would need to be raised to in order to equal 125. For example, 5 to the first power is 5. 5 squared is 25. 5 to the third power is 125. So log base 5 of 125 would be 3. That's the power that you would have to raise 5 to in order for it to equal 125. This next example, log base 6 of 1,296. So in other words, let's see, we have 6 to the first, which gives me 6. 6 squared gives me 36. 6 to the third power gives me 216, 6 to the fourth does give me 1,296. So that logarithm would be 4 because you would have to raise 6 to the fourth power. On this next example, what power would you have to raise 10 to? in order for it to equal 100. Let's see, 10 to the first is 10. 10 squared does give me 100, so that answer would be 2. All right, looking at this next example, you can find these logs in your calculator. I just wanted you to understand what you were doing when you were finding the logarithm. You are finding what exponent this 4 would need to be raised to in order to get 1 over 64. So remember where that log base key is. You're going to hit the math button and then you are going to scroll to the capital A for log base. Oops. For math, scroll down to log base. Now fill in those blanks. You're going to have log base 4, and then in the next area in that parenthesis, you're going to have 1 over 64. Enter, and it tells you negative 3. That is because you would have to raise 4 to the negative 3 power in order to get 1 over 64. Let's just check that. 4 to the negative 3. When your exponent is negative, what you have to do is actually flip your base. So if I flip the 4, so I think of it as 4 over 1, so if I flip that to 1 over 4, what that does is make that exponent for the 4 positive. So that gives me 1 over 4 to the third, which is 4 times 4 times 4, which gives you 64. So that's why you have to raise 4 to the negative 3 power to get 1 over 64. Now, let's talk about what... ln is equal to. ln is the same thing as log base e. And another thing I want to point out is if you just see the word log and you don't see a base like you see this base 4, that is understood to be log base 10. So ln is log base e, and just log is going to be log base 
10. So let's look at a couple more examples. For instance, let's say we have ln of 1 over e. So I can actually find this in my calculator just hitting my ln button and then 1 over then your e is your denominator. So you can actually use, see that division button? See how the has the blue e? Your calculator it thinks that you're putting in that e for Euler's number when you do that. So you can actually use that key. So go second e and then close and let's see what we get. It tells me negative one. So let's understand why. Remember when you have ln, that is the same thing as saying log base e of 1 over e. So what power would you have to raise that e to in order to get 1 over e? Well, let's see. Just like that last problem, when I had that negative exponent, what does that mean you do to the base? A negative exponent means you need to flip your base, which is the e. So we'll think of it as e over 1. So if I flip it, I will have 1 over e. That turns my exponent to positive 1. But if your exponent is positive 1, you don't even need it. So that's how you get the 1 over b. E. You raise it to the negative 1 power. So negative 1 would be that logarithm. Let's look at another example. Log base 2 of 2 to the third power. A couple of different ways that we can think about this. I could change this 2 to the third power, which means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So I could think of that as log base 2 of 8. So what exponent would you have to raise 2 to to get 8? Well, we just did it. We did 2 to the first is 2. 2 squared is 4, and 2 to the third power is 8. So we would have to raise it to the third power, which means that logarithm is 3. Alright, before I do this next example, when you are taking the square root of something, that is the same thing as raising whatever is under that square root to the one half power. So if I was doing the cube root of x, that's x to the one third power, and so on and so on. So the fourth root of x would be x to the one fourth power. So let's look at this example. We have got log base 4 of the cube root of 4. Well, let's change that radical to its equivalent exponent. If the taking the cube root of 4, that's the same thing as raising 4 to the 1 third power. So that's like saying log base 4 of 4 to the 1 third power. So let's think about this. What power do you have to raise the 4 to in order for it to equal 4 to the 1 third power? Well, if 4 is going to equal 4 to the 1 third, then you just need to give it that 1 third. Next one. Log, I don't see the base. Remember what that means. That means it's an understood base 10. So if I need to do log base 10 of 10 to the negative 3. So again, remember 
I just need to figure out what exponent I need to raise the 10 to in order to get 10 to the negative 3 power. Well, I would just need to give it that negative 3. Another example, log base 4 of 2. Now, remember, I haven't been putting these in the calculator, but you always can. Let's go to our math key and then scroll down to the capital A, which is log base, and then fill in these blanks. So log base 4 of 2, and it gives me 0.5. What I'm actually going to do, because Math Lab is going to like that as a fraction, so remember how you turn decimals to fractions. You'll hit the math key and then hit enter twice. So that turns your decimal to a fraction. So I would need to raise 4 to the 1 half power to get 2. So that logarithm would be 1 half. All right, log base 25 of 1. On this one, if this number is a 1, there is a certain answer that that's always going to be because what power would you have to raise that 25 to in order for it to equal 1? Well, <clears throat> anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So if the log that you're trying to find has this 1 here, that answer is always 0. All right, a couple of more examples. I can also use my calculator here. So I will just hit the LN button that's to the left of the four, and then type in <clears throat> what I need in there. Now the same LN button will give me the E and actually put my cursor in the exponent. So I'm gonna hit the second key and then the LN key and then put negative 1 in that exponent. And enter, and it gives me negative 1. Last one. Let's say we have, whoops, ln of the sixth root of e. So, a couple of things. Remember what you're going to want to do with this. If you are to raise, or if you're doing the sixth root of e, you want to rewrite that as e to the one-sixth power. So, I am going to have ln of e to the one-sixth power. Also, Remember what ln is equal to. It's equal to log with a base e. So now if I change the ln to log with a base of e of e to the 1 6th power, I can see now that e would need to be raised to the 1 6th power in order to equal e to the 1 sixth. Could I have put that in my calculator? Yes, I would have done that at this stage. ln, and then I have e, so second ln, my exponent is 1 over 6, enter, and then again, change your decimal to a fraction by hitting the math key and then hit enter twice to get that answer. So math, enter, enter, and there's that one-sixth. That was your answer.